All right. We're going. So welcome to the common metrics working group meeting for the chaos project for January 23rd. So today we have a few things on the agenda. We'll look at the open pull requests and issues. Although I took a look, I haven't looked today, but I don't think there was much new there. And we need to make sure that we get all of the changes requested and get those PR'd in. Um, because I think there are a couple that I don't have yet that are related to the asks from um, Grimoire Lab and Augur. Okay. We can we can double check. Let me see if I can. Do we have? I was just gonna let's see. Let me just open up GitHub. A different computer I have to sign in, which requires additional authentication. Sorry, give me a minute. I'll sign in and then we'll we'll take a look. I'll share my screen. Oh, my phone just crashed. All right, so forget that. <laughs> Literally, my phone just shut itself off and rebooted. Wah, wah, wah. And that has my two-factor authentication on it. <laughs> you you want me to share my screen? <laughs> I can yes, open please. Up and... Yes, please. Have a look at the the, <laughs> the issues for the working group. Wow, that was some timing. Um, I just pinged Sean. Different route. Cool. Yeah, because I think. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. What I did was I basically assigned them to the issues. So I think it's issue 41 and 43. Yeah. And I haven't seen any new comments i haven't seen any new notifications or it could just be because i'm behind on email but one of them you know. if you recall one of the comments i think seemed to come like could you just use the main grimoire lab page yeah. and so that might just be the go-to at this point yeah which we if we don't get anything specific for either of them then i think that's what we should just do okay. um but if they have any if they have anything more specific that they want us to use, that would be, I mean, I always think it's better if you can link to something useful where people don't have to kind of dig through. I agree. Cause even like those top level sites, you're, right, you link and you're like, <laughs> yeah, if I just link it to like the auger site, then <laughs> I, yeah, it's going to be hard for people to find details i mean i think i think that georg's concern was like if you include sort of like super deep links into the exact place that the metrics used yep. then you know those those change pretty often those aren't necessarily persistent links over time which is fair yeah shall we just should we just jump through these yeah let's do that i I think the others were taken care of, but let's look at each of them just to make sure. So, Matt, did you make that poll or did you just make the comments for resources and references? I haven't done it. I just made the comment, but I can easily do it. Oh yeah, you know what? I went through and made the changes I resolved all the issues in diversity and inclusion, and I forgot to do these. I, I mean, I can do it back, back <laughs> here, and then you can just push the button. That's okay. super, obviously super easy. Yeah, if you can do those, then I'll, yeah, um, I can take a look at them either later this afternoon between meetings or tomorrow, first thing yeah. by morning. I mean, it'll take me 10 minutes. So Yeah, and the reviews will take equally, you know, probably, yeah. probably even less time because it's not. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're refactoring the entire metric. You're just making nope. minor changes to it. Yep, just grammar things. Yeah. I suppose yeah, in the, 
Oh, sorry. Well, go ahead. No, go ahead, Kevin. I was going to say, in the in the short term, if we can't resolve the uh, where we want these issues to go, we could just start by having a a high level link, and then we can continue that discussion uh, at a later date. Yeah, agreed. If we can't get anything from them, I think we just include the high level link and then continue to talk about it. And we can always revise the metric in the next release. Yep. Second. Jay, that seems to reasonable team. to me. So the Grimoire Lab visualization link is broken. Link works now. Um, oh, yeah, I fixed that one. That was an issue where it was actually the link was going to a patch that uh, a branch that had been deleted. Okay. Looks like the tools links exist as well. Uh, I had made a note in there about bot activity. Oh, I think I included that. If we go back and look at it, I I embedded it in one of the paragraphs or as a bullet point, actually. If you scroll down, I added it as a filter for automated responses. Okay, excellent. Because that was an excellent point. Oh, hey, Georg. Well, good, you'll get your link. <laughs> we were just talking about you. <laughs> yep, here's your link on the call. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we could probably comment that this is ready for release and maybe close it. Yep, I'm good with that. I, I hadn't closed any of these because I know that the review period ends, what, tomorrow? It does. So I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna close any in case anybody had some last minute, last minute things. But I think it'd be good to leave a comment on all the ones that we think are done. And then we can go and close them when you cut the release. Good idea. Something like that. Yeah, perfect. Sorry. <laughs> And discogs. Ah, oh, the danger of sharing screens. Yeah. There's nothing weird on there, but you don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to shop for records with me. <laughs> we can judge your taste. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we on? Are we up to forty-three? Is that where we're at? Uh, so this one did have the Grimoire Lab and Augur tools links. Did did Brian edit this one? No, I I don't think anybody's made any of these changes. Well, as far as I remember. So it was a little, so the Grimoire Lab and Augur was there, and then. I'm curious, Georg, about your feedback on, on this particular comment that we're looking at right now about the interview question. Who do you see as the most important contributors for the project? Because we felt that, so I know what we're trying to get at. We're trying to get at how do we, how do we 
get information about the contributors that don't show up and things like trace data, right? But the interview question, who do you who do you see are the most important contributors in the project is sort of a value or judgment. And, and none of us could come up with anything that we liked better. <laughs> so, so we all thought that maybe, maybe we should change it somehow, but my fear about mentioning trace data explicitly is that a lot of people don't know what that means in an interview question. Can we ask something around um, what contributors don't usually get the recognition they should? Or which contributors are working behind the scenes? I think we could add both of those as possible interview questions. Is just just because I've obviously not been very very close to this. Is is the aim here to try to identify to to not just sort of use the commit data to identify like who are sort of the key people, but trying to look at sort of like other points to to really see that. So in case you're seeing like someone who maybe they've not done like a ton of code commits mm -hmm. that are really active in the mailing list, they're really active in other areas. Like if they went away, the whole ship would fall apart, sort of thing. But not necessarily tied to code commits. Is that the concept? Yeah, exactly. So if you think of even like, even if you think of the chaos project, so we do a lot of work in Google Docs where there are a number of people who provide really great feedback. So people like, like Nicole Huseman, but she doesn't tend to be the person who submits the pull request. Right. Um, but she may have been the person who did the most work on the, on the metric itself. And so that doesn't show up in the, in the GitHub stats. Yeah. And we have, we have similar things in, um, you know, I work on Kubernetes and we have similar things there where we have people who are working on contributor experience and doing a lot of really great things around like, you know, organizing mentoring and organizing events, but they may not have, you know, they may only have a few, if any, commits. Yeah. So is the idea that we want to, is the idea of the interview to sort of, I identify like who if 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 you'd look at the contribute if you'd look at sort of like the top contributor list and who who would who would you I mean, it's more of like a question of like who's missing from there that like we couldn't capture with already existing data yeah yes okay all right that's helpful I, I started with thinking you're going that way but I figured I might as well ask as opposed to presume um would it be good to sort of lead the question of like what contributions, yeah, like behind the scenes? Um, the paragraph above here kind of kind of lays it out. Yeah, I like the two questions that Georg put in. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Can you? Sorry, they're in the chat. Oh, they're in the chat. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't have that open. Yeah, because that'd be also quantifying. Would it be quantifying people, Georg, with that, or kind of quantifying roles when your first question? I think both are um, valuable because if you understand the role, then we can figure out who's fulfilling those roles. Yeah. Um, I was writing it with the intent for identifying individual people though. So yeah. if this question is not targeted towards people, maybe need to reward it. Okay. And I think probably from like getting quantifiable data, that's probably the right approach. I'm just sort of wondering, and maybe maybe we're kind of like digging too much into a chasm here of like, you know, maybe developer doesn't know like the events person that's dealing with this or can't like identify by name, but they can identify by role or something. Or maybe I'm overthinking it too. Maybe we leave it wake. Yeah. And then Brian Prophet had a comment oh. about, oh, sorry. I was just gonna say, is there a resolution on this? Cause if I'm gonna issue the pull request, 
Do we have the question that we want to use? Is it the one that Georg posted? Yeah, I would replace that most important question with the two that Georg put, because we can add a question. Okay. So Kevin, can you just, I guess I can do it too, but I'll just drop it into the issue. I also noticed there's a just a case problem in one of the down in the data collection strategies matrix survey item column headings is not capitalized rows include is okay i'll just add that as a comment now that i'm okay. logged back in okay let's get into comments so contributors make sure i'm commenting on the right yeah okay Oh, is, is the total contributors 104, was that your comment? That the image is in the wrong place? Yeah, well, it just needs to be dropped. All the other images are below the text. I think that's a issue with markdown. They auto um, yeah, I'll just... fill into the next page, but we can add a HTML line break to make that manually. This is And then Brian Prophet had a comment about the description. Primarily, that's uh, the connection between the question and how we how we get from who are the contributors to what types of contributors the project has. Yeah, I think we see an extra sentence or two in there that better describes. What's what sentence? A line in the description. Of line Might it? We could maybe just change the order of this sentence and then just add one more. We can start with a contributor is defined as anyone who contributes to the project in any way, and then we could have a a sentence that, uh, or we could just add a uh, add a little bit to this other sentence. This metric this metric is a. Uh, is an indication of the number of contributors and the types of contributors that a project has. I mean, he's asking a how question, which is, Kind of a. You're talking. Oh, those, well, the question that Brian asks is yeah. describing how you get from the individual to determining their type yeah. of contribution. And so I think the how questions, those are answered by the interview questions. So, how things. So, I actually don't have a problem personally with the description. If you flip the sentences, I'm fine with that. But if we actually added to the description how we determine the type of contributions to be made, 
that's a bit of a method as to how that gets done, which I think is handled down below. I think maybe what we need to add to the description is something a little bit different. I think it's more about um, that this is designed to make sure that all types, hmm, um, I'm not articulating this well. I think, I think the idea is that what the bit we need to add to the description is something around how this metric is really designed to make sure that you're not forgetting people, that you're including all of the people and that you're not just focused on kind of the, the trace data. So I feel like maybe one more sentence in the description is probably, probably what we need. I'm not doing a very good job of coming up with one, however. I think you said it like in three sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you know, I mean, it could just be this metric is to ensure. Was I thought a, the ni a nice way to start the sentence. Mm -hmm. This metric. Here, I'll type it in the chat. Okay. Um, or maybe this, type it into the issue as a comment. Yeah, I'll share it with all of you first. Okay. This metric is to ensure that all types of contributions. are equally recognized, fully recognized? Yeah, I would say fully. Fully. Something like that is the last sentence. This metric, we could just say this metric ensures. Yeah. Fewer words or rewrite it or make comments. I wonder if that can actually replace that first sentence. Yeah, it could. Fewer words is better. Yeah, because it's not that we need more description, it's just that we've, the description is kind of missing the essence. Yeah, I think it could replace it. I would, I would say that the, uh, that the second sentence that's there now, I would, I would change the order. Okay, so something like that. This metric ensures that all types of contribution or yeah, contributions are fully recognized in the project or in mm -hmm. a project. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so description. Rearrange sentence order. And yeah, so delete the first sentence and then the second sentence becomes the first sentence and then this new one becomes the new second sentence. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> no, it does because I've been on the call. <laughs> the first sentence. <laughs> add, add new second sentence. I'll get, I, I'll remember. I'll do this right away so I won't forget. Okay, good. Okay. And then John, uh, just put a comment in. Do we want to uh, address this? I don't. I mean, it's it's up to y'all. I mean, I'm just saying that it's actually one of the few areas we actually do have a visualization on. If we want to add more options on there or not, it's up to y'all. Shiny. It's one of the few things we do. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm not sure that this. So... I don't know if it fits perfectly. So the I don't know if it fits perfectly, but. I, I, for the contributor end, I know if you click on, on the side where it says individual, there you get an individual breakdown and then a chart. I don't know if that's sort of the same thing you're after or if that's off. I was just, I figure I'd leave it for a discussion. If, mm -hmm. if y'all think it fits, that's fine. If not, no biggie either way. And it does break down also for the project management, so like issues and stuff. 
Um, so you can capture like who's the most active doing issues. Mm -hmm. This is not a super active project, so it's not probably the greatest visualization there. Normally the communication works as two, but that seems to be broken now for some reason. So anyways, I'll leave it to the group. I mean, I, I'm fine either way. I just figure I just throw that up there. So would we put that in? I think it would That'd be, be just an example of an implementation. And that was my thought is just an example of an implementation. But I, don't, I mean, just, just as I was looking at this, but I don't know if that's... I think it would be under visualizations. Okay. Don or Georg, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think it would be a visualization. Okay. I also think it's a visualization, but John, if I look at the the page you sent, I go to individual. There are two percent signs. One is three percent, the other is twenty three percent. For let's say Brian Cipriano. I'm wondering if that's just a bad artifact. Like if that if there should be like count and then percent. I imagine that's just a bug. Okay. Yeah. That that's makes a good sense. catch there. Yeah. I can make, I can, yeah, I mean, I, I can drop that in there. If visualization is the right place, I can get that in there and then maybe fix the screenshot once they yeah, get the bug. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to include a screenshot of uh, the analytics. Yeah. Uh, alternately, we could just include a link. Either way, I mean, I'm fine with that if that's the easier thing. I mean, maybe just a couple instructions because I think for this one in particular, you'd want to click and show the individual versus the organizational. And I don't know if we have a straight, I can play with it and see if we have a straight link to it. Or I, I think we do We do have example implementations in some of the other uh, metrics, I believe. They should all have been removed with a new template. Oh, did we? I thought that became a subheading. I think we just renamed it to tools providing the metric. So personally, it's pretty easy for me just to take a screenshot of the individual here and include it in the visualizations, and then I would provide a link. Mm -hmm. it's not, that's not hard. I like, I like the idea of including the visualization using the, um, the individuals under project management. That's what I was going to use, exactly. Yeah. Because I feel like we have code kind of well represented in the other visualizations. Yep. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I can get that in later today. Or as a pull request. I'll do it. It's, it'll be easier if I just, I'll, I'm going to probably do all of these. Little okay. Things yeah. E either way, that's either way. That's fine with me. Yep. Where, where so, do the... The, the visualizations that are there now, where do, where do those come from? Are those example implementations from uh, Grimoire Lab? The top one is Augur, the bottom three are Grimoire Lab. Yep. I feel like maybe we should mention that and if possible, provide a link to it. It's the question of whether we want to maintain that and whether it's really important where the visualization came from because we're just providing examples. I'm okay with how it is right now. I like simplicity or simpler the better, but. I have a question for John again. If we look at the project management contributors list, number of issues is zero, then percent, which we said just number of contributions. But we is say, we're, we're seeing, Yeah, I think we're getting some breaking there. You're, you're, doing, you're doing some great QA work for us on here. Thank <laughs> you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll follow, I, I can follow up with our team because I have a feeling that's we're getting some breakages and that's what we're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm super excited for Def Analytics to come about. I know it's been a long time in the making. Uh, I just want to make sure when we include a visualization and the metric that we can actually 
stand behind the data. I'm, I'm totally, no, I'm totally with you. Yeah, these are good catches here and I could probably get these fixed relatively quickly. Yep. At the end of that one. I think so. Okay. Okay. Are we moving up? What's that? Uh, yeah, we're moving up from the from the issues. So we're on uh, forty four now. Okay. Which is the last one. Some of these were fixed. Done. Yeah, yeah, I fixed the ones that didn't require me tracking down links from people. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so the same. Is this the same comment, John? Yeah, same comment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because it, it does, it, you know, it, it does show organizational diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a, is that a different link or is it the same link? Same okay. link. So that's why I'm wondering if, just because when you click in there, you have to click something else. I'm wondering if just having the screenshots in there might be better. Yeah, I would say if we're talking about the visualizations, then they should just be screenshots. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy to include this too, just from, I'm guessing the contributors, I can just use the same project management one with the company tab. Are you, are you sure we don't need some citation on where the image came from? I mean, maybe, maybe not a link is maybe a link isn't necessary, but. I you want to know my, you want to know my hesitation is uh, yes. all metrics. Uh -huh. This is, I'm just going to have to track, somebody's going to have to sit down and track all these down. Right. An issue is set up pull requests and maybe it's something we can do for the next round. Okay. That's all. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a little late to do that only because I think it, like you said, I think it goes across everything. It will just for consistency. Mm hmm So maybe make a note. Of that, Kevin. I, I don't have any. I mean, happy to talk about it. But. The, for the next release, maybe yeah. uh, since we're not doing a, a template structure change, we can just go through and yeah, right. Actually, do image citations. That's fair. I mean, the template itself took a while yeah. to get through every metric. For next release. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll do, again, Don, I'll, I'll do these and just, you'll see it, I guess. Okay. So John, don't worry about the PR, I'll take care of them. Oh, no, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll, cause it's just easier if I just do it in one. Yeah, since you're already in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ping me if, if on the thing, if you need any help with that, I'm happy to try. Right on, that, but yeah. sounds good. I think that's the last one other than the release notes, which I believe we have. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I've captured those from common. Okay. okay. I'm going to stop sharing my screen unless you, uh, like nope. me to, uh... I think that takes care of the first two bullet points on the agenda. Yep. I did have something on the agenda that I wanted to, or just an item that I wanted to bring up, and certainly doesn't have to be solved today. But I can wait until you talk about next metrics. 
No, let's go ahead and talk about yours. Okay. So um, a lot of you know that one of my things that I think about across the entire chaos project is how we make sure that the work in the working groups is represented in um, kind of the applied ways, right? So how can we see these metrics is, is very visual deployments in the world that are actually making a difference. So whether it's in Augur or Grimoire Lab or the DNI badging or whatever it might be. And so common is a bit of a funnier one, right? So one of the things that's on my mind is how do we make sure that the work that's being done in common is very expressly represented in, in tooling or in programs so how, how can we do that? And I, it's kind of an open question, but just because common is a slightly different working group. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. The thought I have on the common metrics is the work we've been doing is mostly capturing what's already been implemented and living in the wild and just trying to capture the status quo. So that's just the thought I had. Mm -hmm. So how do we express like, <laughs> to be like silly, like how do we say thanks common for all the work you've done? Here, here's, the, here's that work represented in the world, right? So like if we do the DNI badging thing, it's pretty easy to say, thanks DNI group, here's the stuff that's actually trying to drive forward and make change in the world. Or if it's out of value, like when Kevin was talking about the value perspectives, if there's a dashboard, you know, thanks value working group, here's us working to deploy those metrics. So how do we... So the, the value perspective, oh, sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say the same thing, so go ahead. Uh, the, the value perspectives document that I was uh, proposing, mm -hmm. uh, in my mind that actually does have a section that looks directly at uh, common metrics, uh, mm -hmm. specifically who the contributors are uh, and organizational affiliations. Okay. Uh, so w w it would just be part of the document. Okay. So maybe there's a already being drawn out explicitly. Okay. And I think there's risk components in there too, aren't there? In that perspective? Uh, Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, risk component. There's a risk component, uh, and then additionally, I was thinking about the the DNI badging on it. Okay. So value is kind of value is one of those weird ones that kind of just encompasses everything. That was it. That was my only comment. Okay. I think that's definitely something worth continuing to think about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the, the only other, uh, sorry, before I move on, were there any other comments on that? Okay. Um, the only other item I had on the agenda was to brainstorm the next metrics that we should be working on. So, you know, we've got the release almost out the door. Um, what do we want to start working on next? Well, because I think we still had some stuff that was kind of in flight. Yeah, I was going to bring up the spreadsheet. Oh yeah, that'd be great. So here is folks, the spreadsheet. I didn't look on the common tab, but there may be things in there. So and then also we still do have kind of a laundry list. The second link here is a laundry list of just the activity metrics that are or are not necessarily assigned. Yep, 
Yeah, we do have some that were, if you looking at the spreadsheet, we have a few that were, that we were considering or that we were working on. Uh, the contributor um, country, contributor employer country, those mm -hmm. were off to a good start. Yeah, I think uh, I was. I think I was hacking on those, and then that's when I disappeared for two months. <laughs> <laughs> well, good but, timing. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> good time to show back up, John. Um, I mean, I'm I'm happy to. I mean, if y'all think those are valuable, I'm I'm happy to kind of pick up the hacking on those. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. And then we have the, the. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Should, should those exist in the where focus area rather than the who? Yeah, that's, I think you're right. Uh, no. Um, I think if, so let's look at the definitions again for, for the focus areas. Because where is, let's see, understand where contributors from organizations and people are happening that should be where contributions from organizations and people are happening. So I think where is more about the, like, is it happening on GitHub? Is it happening um, in IRC? It's more, about, oh. more about, it's more like tool versus like physical location. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So we, we need to clarify in the that. community. Yeah. We need to clarify, I think the definitions that we have for the goals. Where is that just defined? I just, is that somewhere in the GitHub? Yes. It's probably it somewhere obvious. Why don't we just, I just put a link in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect. thank you. Ah, perfect. Yeah. So I still think it, it does belong in. Just, does anybody mind if I just make that editorial change without a pull request? <laughs> Oh, some people. Since it's a typo, <laughs> since it's a typo, since it's a typo, yes. <laughs> so understand where contributions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Contributions from organizations and people are happening. Yeah. Okay. All right, done. Um, and then, I, whoops, that's not what I meant to paste in there. Oh, oh, I'm using two computers and I'm, I'm doing the wrong stuff. Sorry. Um, where's the, sorry. Um, tracking, tracking spreadsheet. Um, sorry, but because dro we're dropping links in the chat, but we really need to be dropping links in the notes because the chat goes okay. away as soon as we close Zoom. Um, so I just found the tracking spreadsheet link. I'll fix that. Okay. And then what I was going to do is copy the, um, because we have a starting point, John. I put the on. drive folder in there too. Okay. In the, in the watchman here. And then minutes. So this is link. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, so the ones that we're looking at to work on next are contributor country, um, contributor employer country, Let's see, let me just move some of these around. Um, sorry, which links are you putting? Are you putting the links directly to the contributor country and employer country or? Uh, in the, the spreadsheet. So this, yeah. so this link, I can get rid of that one. Basically, this is a link to all of the activity metrics that have, we've just been capturing over the, over the years that people mention. Okay. You know, and they may or may not be assigned to a 
Okay, that's fine. We can leave those. Let me just put those okay. up above because I have, okay. So the next ones to tackle are contributor country and contributor employer country. And what, what's in that drive folder? There's three different okay. metrics in there. Cool. So I just did the top level folder. Okay. So John, if you can see that um, it looks like we have a good start on those metrics in the drive. Yep, so it just needs to get some stuff filled out. Yeah. Okay. In the, uh, in the time focus area, uh, how, are we, how are we differentiating that from some of the evolution metrics? Like I would, say, I would propose like a time to merge for that focus area, right? You know, the amount of time that it takes for a, a pull request to get merged from, from beginning to end. Does that fit within common or, or, is that, or is that more of an evolution metric? No, I think it fits within common because that's something that, um, that impacts a bunch of different, could impact a bunch of different metrics. Although I would say instead of time to merge, it's more um, time to close. Yeah. Because that includes merge activities and ones that are closed because of some other reason. Right. Which is what we have right now in the, we have that one started. Is that in the drive too? I don't see Limit it. Time period. I don't see it, yeah. Okay, I think it's what just, maybe it's just one we've talked about. I think time to close is currently discussed by evolution. Oh, is it? Well, if they've already defined it, there's no reason for us to define it. Um, who wants to take the action item to figure out if time to close is already covered by evolution? I can I can just go look right now. Okay. Um Are there other metrics that we want to start working on? There's that lines and files that was based on the Grimoire Lab schema. What's the thought on that one? Do you remember? I think it was, gosh, here, wait a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Metric, huh, there was an action item for Matt to build the Google Doc to start working on lines and files. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That. That's what I found when I searched it. October, October and then my 31st. My computer crashed and I lost all my work. <laughs> Are you sure your dog didn't eat it? I, that, that too, actually. The dog ate my computer. It crashed. <laughs> all right. Okay, fine. so I, I do not see a time to close. Okay. But they However, have a very have similar a, metrics. Uh, they do have an issue resolution metric that is issue response time, which is uh, is that the same as the one? Issue that response is? time is just uh, when does the first one respond, or when does a re maintainer respond? And then the next step would be issue resolution time or something where we okay, get so, to close. Oh, but my point was they have an issue response time. And then we also have a time to first response in common. I have to step off. Uh, All right. Thanks, Matt. Yep. See I you, think Matt. when I end the meeting, it's going to stop recording, just so you know. Wait, no, wait. we'll take over. OK. OK. Oh, look at that. Still recording. We're all good. Yep. Um, yeah, so Common has time to first response, which we are releasing. And then Evolution has 
issue response time. So I guess at this point, I'm curious what the difference is. Uh, I think they're identical. If we need to, do we need to resolve that before the release? Hmm. Um, what did you say was the, the metric that evolution has? Here, I'll put it in the document. No, I just, I'm trying to take notes to put it in the notes. Yep. Issue response okay. time. Perfect. And then ours is time to first respond. Hmm. And then back to the previous thing, I do not see uh, No, it's not there, but it's very similar to what they have been developing. Where do you know where they're developing that at? No, I don't know if they're actually actively developing it, but in my mind that it's, it should be there. Well, I would be, I'm certain that uh, Augur and Grimoire Lab are probably implementing it in some fashion, right? Issue, yeah, we have time to close issues. Yeah, so it just, it may not, just may not exist in evolution currently though, right? Um, no, if you look at the visualization in issue response time in the evolution group, uh, time to close is actually part of that visualization. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's the same in our <laughs> right. time to first response in the common working group. If you look yeah. at that visualization, you also have time to close. Okay. So I would say time to close is, is not currently being handled by evolution, at least not yeah. explicitly. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Okay, so these are similar, but not the same. Um, I'm just typing in the notes. However, we probably need to coordinate better. Any response in the issue thread from another contributor? So while they're described differently, I think our two metrics do capture the same thing. I think they're the same thing, yeah. Mm. Okay. Shall we give it up and let evolution have it? And we can maybe merge some of the description objectives back because they're very meek <laughs> in evolution. Or do you want to hog it and ask the evolution to give it up? <laughs> I think we need to coordinate and decide um, where it goes. Um, somebody is going to have the time to do that today. I have meetings for the rest of my day. And then, because my day is almost over, I have one more meeting. You mean reach reach out to evolution and see? Uh... Yeah, to see what their what their suggestions are for handling the the duplication. I mean, do we want to just merge these? Do we want to leave it under evolution? Do we want to leave it under common? Is it too late to do anything now since we're almost ready to release it? I mean, it seems like we could merge probably merge the two, take the best of both. Right. My preference is to handle it in evolution. Yeah, I'm fine with leaving it in evolution. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me as long as the metrics are getting defined and people can find them.
Does somebody have time to talk to the evolution working group today? Uh, should we reach out to them individually or should we just throw something onto the mailing list? Uh, I can, I can certainly send, I can certainly send an email. I have time to do that. Okay. Uh, question, the question is, uh, should we just, uh, if I were to do that, I would probably reach out to, uh, Carter. Uh, otherwise I can just tag Carter in a, in a message to the email list and, and I'd let them know that we propose merging ours into into the evolution yeah. working group unless unless anyone has other thoughts. I would say if you're volunteering to do the email, I would say send it however you think is best going to reach the evolution folks. Because to be honest, I just don't work a lot with that with that working group. So I don't know. I don't know how they tend to work. I would say do whatever you think is best. I, I think they're them. they're pretty loosely coupled. So I think the email list might uh, might be best. Cool. Okay. So we are running out of time. So I think we have we have John's going to work on one of the next metrics. We have um, action items assigned, and the next meeting is on February 6th. So with that, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.